Hi, I'm Sagar. And I'm Al, Fredo Chicken. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Uh, he's Mo. So what's on your mind? So, the topic of today's conversation is going to be if you could have a tool that would turn anything sentient, and I mean have a face to it and you can talk to it and interact with it, what would you choose? And obviously, I'm like the questions to you and the listeners. So, you know, if they have anything, they could send it to our Twitter and whatnot and just continue the conversation there. But what do you think? What would you want to like turn sentient? Uh, can you explain in detail? Because I'm having a hard time to think about it. I, I don't know what to choose, so I need more details. Okay, okay. So here's the my, my thought process on that. So I was thinking, um, you know, we have Siri, we have uh, Google and all of that. And then I remembered at some point they had a uh, a fridge that could respond to you. I don't know why you would need a fridge to respond to you, but that seems like... I, I, it might be helpful, I don't know. But like, if you had anything you could talk to to improve your day-to-day life, what would it be? My day-to-day life? Okay, that. Now that is more difficult than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't have to improve your day. It could make it worse, if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I wish my bed was, was now sentient. So it can tell me how much... God. <laughs> how much... Sit on me. <laughs> oh. Stay. <laughs> yes, I want my bed to be sentient no, so I up. can... So so the bed can tell me how, how much time I keep sleeping. <laughs> you're just lying in bed and the bed's, uh, you know... Oh, God, you're lying in bed. You're sleeping and you just hear, Hey, you still up? Hey, hey. Are you, are you awake? I can't I can't sleep. I I, I want to talk. It's like it's underneath you, and then the voice is just coming from underneath the bed. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's less uh, that and God. more. Wake up! You know. <laughs> I think it's it's more that. Yeah, I I think that <laughs> that would probably be it. It would just be that the bed just kind of shakes you off it. Or, like, if you're having an argument with your bed, it no longer allows you to open up the, like, the blankets and everything. It's like, no, you go over there. Couch. Not here. <laughs> like, you can, you tried sleeping on the couch. You took a nap on the couch. You can stay with the couch. It's not my problem. Okay. I, you know. So you what, what if thing. at the same time the couch is also <laughs> sentient? Having an affair with your bed. <laughs> um <laughs> What are you saying? Are you, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that the bed and the couch are in a relationship? And oh god, no! I, I, my mind is already uh, okay. like frazzled I, up. <laughs> okay, let's just focus. Sorry, back on you the were topic. saying. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. let's focus back, back on the topic because we just went on a huge tangent. It's fine. Okay. Tangents are what I do. Go for it. And add it. <laughs> what were you saying? Before? What we usually do best. <laughs> <laughs> um. Fair enough. I'm seriously having a hard th- uh, a hard time thinking about it because if I say anything like oh if it's gonna be like um a utensil like mm. that's that's already bad as is <laughs> if I say I mean like, listen we <laughs> yeah yeah sorry you're saying yeah and if I say my phone that's already happening we got Siri and okay Google excessive quotations. I actually thought my phone was going to go off. <laughs> um, it's going to respond to you. It's yeah. like, I hear you talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> or or Bixby or whatever the the, the hell it is. Um, you know what? Maybe it could be a watch. A watch. Okay, well, I mean, there is an Apple Watch to a certain extent. You can talk to the watch. But, okay, okay, think about this. Think about it like this. You have the tool with you. It's like sort of like a little gun that you can point at and you shoot and then boom, it it can speak, okay? 
so you know we already talked about the bed affair the the couch affair all of that stuff and you know that could build up to a whole new line of problems because if beds have have sentience now oh my god you know the, the world would be insane because that that's a, a new problem we're gonna have to solve um but I was thinking something along the lines of, what if someone didn't know what to sh- what to shoot? You know, like think about it like this: you're lying down on a field, you're looking at the night sky, you have it with you, and you're like, what if I what if I shoot the moon? Pew. Oh no! The- <laughs> no, that will cause chaos. That already in itself causes chaos. No. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, listen. Moon. I told you it doesn't have to improve your day to day life, but I feel like if the moon had a face or it was able to talk to us, like, so how's it going? Like, I'm up here, you know. Just uh, I can't see all of you individually, but I know you're there. Hello. Like, <laughs> just this twirling just sounds around like the, a weird version of a Rick and Morty bit. Oh, I was. I thought like you were going to say Legend of Zelda. Like that screaming sun, the giant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the screaming sun. No, because like goes, if it is. <laughs> so think about it like this: you look up in the night sky. Now it's not just the moon that's looking down at you as you're looking up at it. It's also Mars going yeah for like across the <laughs> <laughs> from across the sky it's just a little beam like a shooting oh star <laughs> and you just look up and say hi mars and mars is gonna go like ah, hi there ah. <laughs> exactly there's oh man that's exactly what i was thinking and it's just like the 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 solar system is no longer go encircling around itself subconsciously. It's just like, all right, now they you know Mars is just kind of like, right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go check out that other solar system. I'm gonna be back. Just give me like five minutes, five millennia. I'm just gonna go. Just, just go for a second. Uh, Pluto would be like, I'm out. Screw this. You guys have not respected me. I am out of here. And he just shoots oh, off into another Pluto. next solar system. Don't worry, Pluto here. Some of no, us no here worry. on Earth still respect yeah. you and love you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pluto. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? But yeah, that's that's pretty much. You know what? I would use I yeah. would use that um, uh, aware. What was it? A sentience gun, a sentience wand. I'm gonna use it on my car, so we can have a Herbie. <laughs> That that would be. I mean, it's fun. Oh my god, the it's, noise! It's so cool the, having a talking car. But the noise in traffic—it's no longer just honking. It's a lot of "Hey, move!" And it's not even the driver saying that; it's the car. <laughs> like, uh, did you just scoot a little bit? Just move. That makes it easier if you're if you have a buddy <laughs> as a car, and your car is backing you up, yeah. screaming at all the other cars to move. <laughs> I would do anything for that car. <laughs> My okay, so uh-huh. I have I have a car. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a tangent, and it's gonna it's okay. like circle around. No, it's fine. I have a car which is a twenty eighteen uh, Chevrolet Trax, and I called this car uh, Caliber because of course people would call their cars something either he she. Um, or like give it because it's their baby, it's their first car. So my car, I always am fond with it, even though I've gone through like the the dumbest of of, of stupid things. If if caliber my car ha- like gains sentience, I would do anything for her. If she wanted an oil change, I would just go straight away for her. <laughs> That's oh man. She is my first car, and mm. she is my baby. Yeah, I, I I'd imagine so. Um, but also, if your car is having a bit of a bad day and you're late for work, it could just automatically drive to the petrol station. Like, listen, listen, man, I need a drink. Like, dude, I don't oh, care if I'm, you're late. I'm, gonna I'm give it getting it. Oh, I'm going to give it to her. I'm I'm just going to call my boss and say, hey, boss, uh, my car is not having a a good day today. Just give me a a, give me like a half an hour. I'll get back to you. (laughs) And uh, I'm sure if I explain it in detail to my boss, they'll understand. 
And so if if my baby caliber needs a drink, I'm going to help her out. I'm going to give her a drink because she my girl. She in my car. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, okay, assuming cars now, like I'm thinking about the Cars movie. If they have bars and they have their own kind of stuff, <laughs> you could have a drunk car and it would be, <laughs> it just shows you go, you want to drive in the middle of the night and it's just like, no, you don't, you're not going to, no. I was like, have you been drinking diesel again? It's like, no, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. So rounding it about, so my car, my baby, she be defending me. I be taking her to road trips, got to treat her right, got to treat her uh, to some good petrol, whatever the, the, the petrol type is going to be good for her. I'm going to treat her right. If she gets into an argument with someone on the road, like an angry driver who ha- who's having road rage, I'm going to get out and scream at him uh, mm-hmm. be- and, and, and scream at him be- in defense of my car. Mm, that's fair. That's OK. I can see that happening because, uh, you know, once you have a sentient car, then it kind of becomes a flubber situation where the car falls in love with you. Um, and then it becomes like... It, well, in Flubber, it wasn't the car that falls in love. That was, uh, that's Herbie, I believe. No, in Flubber, it was the machine, the sentient machine that he made, right? It was like, it was standing between oh, him yeah, and... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's kind of where that that comes from. I need to watch that then. I need to, like, catch yeah. up with that movie. There's a, there's a, a Ghibli movie. I believe it's City uh, Howl's Moving Castle, where all of the voices, <gasps> uh, listen, all of the voices, or, like, the effect of the machine it's, uh, itself, are all just voice actors. Like, it's either Howl's Moving Castle or it's uh, one of the other films, but it's sort of like... As it's like driving, you hear vroom, 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 vroom. And you're like, it's just a guy saying vroom, you know? <laughs> and so that's how I I'm imagine. I'm not sure if it's Howl's Moving no, Castle. I think it's another Yeah, it's movie. one of the other ones. But also it, it's like. Because um, yeah. the only vehicle in Howl's Moving Castle is the, castle. the one that. The, <laughs> the movie castle. The demon. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously the moving <laughs> castle, but it's the demon that moves the castle itself. Yeah. Voiced by Billy Chris- Crystal. Mm, yes. So, back on topic of... Uh, <laughs> back on topic of uh, sentience. What, what, what would you uh, choose? Okay, so the first thing that I thought of when you asked me that is uh, a paragraph is filled with a bunch of different sentences that end on in p- period do- dots. No? Does that... Is that not working for you? Is that a bad joke? That's a terrible joke. Anyway. That was a brilliant joke. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Thank you. I've been thinking about the sentience for a while. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets better. All Thank right. You. Um, so, I, like I said, I would probably shoot, like, not shoot, but, like, aim the, the tool at a planet. Because if it's not going to move around or anything, I want to know the thoughts of what the moon feels like uh like when it's out there it's like i'm just i I got a headache i've been twirling around the earth for a while i'm just it's a bit nauseating um but you know what's the 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 best thing it's like this is the moon speaking or is it you know what the best thing about uh being up here and being sentient is i'm very aware that i'm going around the earth in 80 days and in faster than 80 days and it's awesome you know um but I don't know. I, don't know. I, I feel like I would probably just s- like temporarily give sentience to a bunch of different objects. You know, it uh, maybe not something as you know something like the bed or a couch because that would be um, inappropriate to say the least. Yeah. But um, and awkward. Yeah. But also, you know, I've watched Bob the Builder. You know, I don't want my cars to move around being like. All right, I'm not in the mood to fix this thing, so I'm not going to. I'm having my own problems. You know, it's kind of like, all right, listen, car. Uh, if you have problems, I'll take you to the, 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 the shop. But please, this house needs building, and I'm not in the mood for you to, like, <laughs> for you to not be in the mood to fix this I, thing. I, I'm, I'm rambling. I can't help but moment. imagine Bob the Builder <laughs> as a drama. <laughs> like a tell. What was it? A tele. <laughs> Tele- telenova drama like a spanish drama <laughs> oh my god 
It's uh, like, I don't remember what the other, like, tools were called. Give me just one of the names. I can't remember. Uh, wrench. <laughs> I don't remember. No, wrench? No. Is that one of the other no, names? No, actually, you know what? Let me search this no. real quick. Uh, Mixer? <laughs> I'm just thinking of their oh, names. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Like, the, the actual Wait, names of the tools. I'm, I'm thinking about is Bob and the gang have so much fun. Okay, no, they don't say the name of Um... <laughs> Uh, no, handy and wrenchy. I didn't think no, of the theme. that's wrong. Uh, Rolly, uh, Rolly, Bob and Dizzy, the... and Windy, and uh, yeah, R- Rolly and Dizzy. I would say. Okay, Dizzy Scoop. Diz- Dizzy. Why is Scoop. Bob the builder of a vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> Rolly Muck Lofty. Do you think the okay. Do you think the vehicles um, aren't aware that he's a human being? Like. Oh, that's a weird looking uh, vehicle. Hey, Bob, what what are you good for? You know, I'm good for rolling stuff around. What are you good for? It's like, oh, man, Bob the Builder having an existential crisis. Now that's an episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so thinking about the Telenovo Bob the Builder thing, I could just imagine like, Rolly, I think we need to... Um, I think we need to flatten the the gravel so we can create a road. And Rolly's like, I cannot do it, Bob. It is too hard. <laughs> I must seek vengeance upon my ex-wife. Oh my <laughs> no, it's it's uh wait, what was the word? <laughs> oh, I'm so lightheaded. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh wait hold on hold on let me let me jump to like the actual names because the way i'm thinking about it <sighs> is um yeah yeah so the episode starts off and it's super dark it's storming there's lightning strikes there's thunder and then he's got scoop digging a, a hole in the ground and he's dumping the body in i'm sorry windy it shouldn't have ended this way and then he just kind of puts the like he takes turns the car off the vehicle off scoop off and he's like no witnesses and it's like now it just becomes <laughs> fargo <laughs> bob the builder fargo oh edition my God. <laughs> <laughs> fargo the builder fargo the builder oh my god (laughs) yes fargo the builder who clearly lives in fargo with his other Uh, uh, two (laughs) vehicles to construct now he must construct life beyond death (laughs) and then why am i going back to frankenstein (laughs) and then and then roly shows up and it's like hey bob have you seen scoop we haven't seen him all week it's like I don't... Who are you talking about? I haven't seen him in a long time. You know, it's been a while since I've heard that name. And then they skip to a scene that's in the middle of the junkyard and just Scoop is over there, just in parts. It's like, oh no, he's been disassembled. And then you see the parts moving and you're like, oh no, this is still... It's still alive and it's coming back for revenge. And that's what I want to watch in a movie. I just, I mean, the, the whole idea is just have fun. See where this conversation is kind of going. I Like, the topic <laughs> isn't relevant. Because, like, at this point, we're talking about Bob the Builder. And I think that's completely fine. <laughs> because then the description. The, tele- the, the first tele... Oh, God. The description of the episode Tell is... Bob the Builder to Fargo Bob the <laughs> No, think about, think about the tags to, like, of the episode. What, what, the, what is it called? Like... Pet cemetery. Pet cemetery. Like pet cemetery or something. Yeah. <laughs> where it's like the pets, where the pets become alive and like hunt their uh, owners. But in this situation, it's scoop. <laughs> it's scoop. Yeah, basically. I mean, that's the way I, I'm seeing it. Um, <laughs> God. I okay. Listen. Uh, oh my God. Hey, this is me breaking the fourth wall. Hey, you that is listening to us. I hope you're enjoying this so far. What, would you watch a soap opera if it was just about Bob the Builder and his dramatic life and him taking out Wendy because obviously he, she knew too much and then taking care of Scoop? Like, this sounds like I should take it to Hollywood. Bob the Builder, the reboot. And then make it dark. 
<laughs> I want. Maybe we can have like an audio drama. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. An audio drama of Bob the Builder. But it's like, yeah. Oh my god, that sounds amazing right now. I would, oh, I would god. pay triple the amount of money for watching that. That would be amazing for listening to that. That sounds amazing. We, we've been getting like fan art <laughs> of like the things we've been talking about in the last couple of episodes, and I really want to see a dramatic Bob the Builder. Like, if anyone's gonna draw that, I oh. want to see that. <laughs> Just him in like a poster. I think, I think Bad Member Superman poster, Justice League. <laughs> 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 with Bob and Scoop yeah. facing each other. Yeah, Bob and oh Scoop just God. facing each oh other no. and just Wendy's arm coming out of the ground like, oh no, <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I need to check. Is Wendy like... I think Wendy's the girl. Is Wendy a human? Yeah, yeah, she's the human. She's the blonde that he clearly has a thing for, I believe. Un oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not talking about All like right. a different kind of... Uh, it's, it's not a different car. At least I think that's the name of her. Uh, Dorothy is Bob's mother. Um, Mrs. Yeah, Linda. I think I think you're right. It's where is Wendy? It, it it is it is Wendy. It is Wendy, the blonde. The blonde yeah, because I, I can't find her name. Yeah, I can't find her name on Wiki Wikipedia at the moment. Um, oh my God! They Bob the Builder has a scarecrow. Yeah, that could be the antagonist. Oh my God! <laughs> it's <laughs> don't blame me. I'm doing my job. I'm the scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scary. <laughs> and it just turns into a thriller. <laughs> yeah, that's like, listen. There's a that's a Raven oh episode all about that. Like <laughs> that's totally a thing. Also, as like. I don't want to keep going back to Bob's the Bob the Builder, but I'm looking at the character sheet now, the 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 the, the names of the people, and like the storyline seems to like have so okay. I am learning so much about Bob the Builder at the moment, and I am sorry for anyone listening to this if you wanted to hear about sentient stuff. But hey, Bob the Builder is cool. Uh, like for example, <laughs> did you know that um? Bob the Builder has a fraternal twin brother called uh, Tom. Tom the Builder. Uh, no, his name is not Tom the Builder. His name is Tom. Um, that's amazing. I He has a sibling. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Jen, Jenny is Wendy's sister. Um, oh my god, the place is called Bobsville? That's so egotistical. Excuse me? That's so egotistical. Excuse That's insane. Me? He has an entire place named after him. Uh, Bunty Ferguson is the mayor of Bobsville, who appears in two episode episodes. Um, Doris is. I think we've come. Uh, I, <laughs> I think we stumbled upon a conspiracy. This is a huge. And we have to end it. Oh, I, okay. Hold on, hold on. Before we do, uh, before we get back to that. I just want to mention there is a character called Jana von Strudel who's only like the only thing the only description we have of her is she yodeled with Rolly and she is Austrian uh, Austrian and speaks in a German accent and that she's also the owner of of a Zoomer that's all we know of her that's amazing <laughs> All right, we're ending this episode. We'll see you next time. There is a character called Bird, and the only description is Bird is Rolly's best friend who goes woo woo. I think we should cover this next time because this, this is truly horrifying. Thank you for listening to Thoughts and Rambles. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you'd like to give us your input on the topic, whichever of the topics that we talked about, feel free to, to contact us on Twitter or Instagram or any of the social medias. Um, he is Mohal Qasmi on Twitter. That's M-O-H-A-L-Q-A-S-I-M-I. -E and he is Sagar A-L-Q, S-A-Q-R-A-L-Q. And until next time, Bob the Builder is not what you think he is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>